Welcome to Photo Escapes, a photography series featuring Matthew Williams Ellis and myself, John Alexander, as we take you along on our journey photographing some of the most amazing locations in the world. It's five in the morning, I'm up, I'm ready to go. However, there's no Matthew here. So I'm gonna go and have to wake him up. This looks really cool. All right, gringos. Okay, that's not okay. Up. We're in Costa Rica at the moment. We're staying near Nosara on the west coast. The place we're staying suggested that we walk down to this nearby beach. So we're heading down here for sunrise this morning. We've got no idea what it's like. Hence, we've arrived in the dark to go give ourselves plenty of time to have a look around. Whoa. Look at that! This is really cool. Now it's a matter of combing the beach for an interesting foreground. See you in a bit, see you in a bit, see you in a bit, see you in a bit. We shouldn't do that. No. <laughs> Since we're in Costa Rica, I'm going to concentrate on some wildlife photography. Matt is over there photographing some landscape photography, so I thought I would photograph these pelicans that are feeding in the waves. So I've got my zoom lens on and my 1.4 converter, but it's still not zoomed in enough so I'm gonna have to go into the waves and try and get a bit closer so here I go I've walked along the beach just slightly further and found some driftwood which I'm planning on using as my foreground having the driftwood in the shot will just help kind of give the sense of place of where we are which is quite a, a rough and ready beach on the coast of Costa Rica at the moment I'm waiting for a wave that's big enough to cover this piece of driftwood or almost drift tree that I found on the beach. It's damp around here so there must be some waves that come up this high. It's just a matter of being patient. Which I'm not very good at. Okay, I've got a change of plan. This is not working for me so I'm going to have to do a bit of gardening. I think I might have to find a smaller piece of driftwood and miraculously find it closer to the waves. Okay, so I haven't got long, so I'm gonna put you over here while I do a bit of gardening and see what I can get. The problem is, if a piece of driftwood is big enough that I can move it, it means that the ocean can move it too. John, you haven't actually taken any photos yet. I was literally about five minutes ago, they were, they were sort of swooping in and out of the waves. I was like, oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Now they're just sitting there like, like ducks, like ducks on water. You have to be a bit patient. I've got all the time in the world. I'm in Costa Rica, I've got my feet in the sea. I'm happy, I'm happy to wait, but I would like to get this shot. What I want to see is them just sort of gliding in over the top of the waves. Uh, and it'll look really, really cool. But at the moment, they're not doing anything. At the moment, the pelicans are just going to be silhouettes because the sun hasn't come out and it's sort of backlit at the same time. But they've got a really amazing shape. Oh, they're fishing over there, that's annoying. Um, they've got a really amazing shape, so I don't mind that too much. But when the sun comes out, hopefully it'll get some really nice light on them. Ah, oh, that is amazing. I just want them to do that, maybe another 100 metres towards me, that would be great. A bit far away, but that's the sort of thing I'm hoping for. They were just skimming the waves and the waves are just crashing below them. They're just a tiny bit too far away. If they come back and do the same thing here, I'll be a happy man.
So the sun's just come over the horizon now and it's really brought this scene to life. Before it was a bit flat, but with this backlight on the, on the driftwood in the foreground, it looks really great. I'm just hoping I can capture it and do this scene some justice. Okay, this is a good wave. There we go. So one shot on the way in and one shot on the way out. You get a very different feel to these images. To be honest, the thing I'm loving most about this photo shoot isn't the fact that we've actually got great light. It's the fact that I'm in shorts and a t-shirt, don't even need flip-flops, on a wild beach in Costa Rica and there's no one else here. It's awesome. It's absolutely stunning. We're all by ourselves and it's just about getting outside and I can't wait to get back having already got some great shots, had a fun time on the beach and sit there with a cup of Costa Rican coffee. Yeah, it's going to be good. Once the sun came over the horizon, it looked... The horizon? <laughs> yeah. I think once the sun came over the horizon, it looked... It just brought the whole scene to life, really, didn't it? Absolutely it is love so it. This is exactly why I love landscape photography. I think the fact that, you know, you go to somewhere like this usually, and that it's just flooded with people, but we've got up at five o'clock in the morning and no one is stupid enough to come out and just go to the beach at five in the morning. So there's no one here. It's not that hot yet, so it's really comfortable. I'm getting a bit hot. Whoa, already. what is that? Is that flying? That's the biggest insect that I've is, ever seen. That is the biggest insect I've ever seen.